Hey guys, I'm James. I'm here with Henry. He's a standard Bernadoodle. He's finishing up our training program. Henry, come. Henry is good in the house. He's good outside. Sit. He's, he's great to walk down the street, go to, go to the store. He's ready to go home. Um, today we're going to show you what he knows, his obedience, crate training, stay training, leash on and off. All right guys, as you can see, Henry is a pretty well-trained dog at this point. Um, like I said, he's, he's a dog. We still have to upkeep training. We still have to maintain that and follow through every day. So I'm gonna go over some of the things that are typical for, for any dog at this age to come up with as far as maybe not wanting to do what he's told or questioning or kind of this teenage stage that we all go through and so does every puppy. So. Henry, come. So if I'm going to the bed and Henry doesn't go the first time, which he did, what I would do is I would really get him excited about the treat and I'd make him follow. For instance, if I said kennel and he just sat here, I'm gonna say, Henry, kennel, Henry, kennel. Get him excited and even throw the treat in the kennel. Once he goes, good boy. Treat him like he did it even if, even if he didn't do the first time. But I don't sit and say, kennel, 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 kennel. I say, Henry, kennel. If that doesn't work, I try it one more time with the treat. Henry, come. Henry, place. Again, if, it was, if he didn't go, which he did great, um, we would drag the treat and drag him over to place or to his bed. 
to whatever area we point, we want to follow through. Because if we don't, Henry's going to start thinking, oh, maybe he doesn't really mean this. Maybe he wants me to come and cuddle with him rather than do what I said. That's not what I want, Henry. Oh boy, good boy, stay. So if Henry were to break his stay, if I tell him, stay there, he's not allowed to leave until I tell him he's free, tell him come. All I would do is I would take him right back to the same spot. If I'm outside and I tell him, stay right here, I'm going to go right back to that spot because if I tell him to stay, he breaks. And now I don't follow through with that stay. He, he's learning every time and gradually he's getting worse and misbehaving more every time because he knows I'm not going to follow through. So no matter what command we give, we have to follow through if he doesn't do it. And this is how we get a well-behaved puppy, which is a stage he's still in. So hopefully these tips help. Good boy, Henry, come. Have Henry. So something that can often get overlooked is desensitization. And what I mean by that is making sure that your dog is able to be touched anywhere. I should be able to touch his ears. I should be able to touch his mouth. He should be just fine with me touching his paws. I should be able to touch any paw and he should be able to just stand there and really not really pay attention to me. This is something that we should be doing at least once a week. This will help in grooming. This will help when he goes to the vet. This will help so that if for any reason you have someone over and they aren't really sure how to behave around a dog, then they're not going to have any incidents that we're not wanting. So it is really important to make sure that we are desensitizing, making sure he can be on his side that should be a comfortable position for him. He should be able to do that without really putting up a fight. Guys, have you ever seen a dog that you can't clip their toenails? Have you ever seen a dog you can't trim? This, what Ruth is talking about, goes into clipping nails. If I can pull here, I can clip nails for sure. If I can pull here, I can clip back feet. If I have a kid that's never seen the dog, accidentally pulls his tail too hard, guess what, Henry, He's not going to jump back and nip at it. He's not going to be aggressive. 
he's going to be comfortable with it because the desensitizing that we're talking about. So remember, like Ruth said, do it regularly. Pull them a little, you know, it's, it's a little awkward. It looks like, what, what am I doing? Henry doesn't care. But that, that helps in the long run for brushing, like Ruth said, clipping nails, going to the vet, children, new people, new places. Make sure we keep up on that. Mm -hmm.